Hello. I have a Remnant beer, one of the newish breweries in Somerville. Um, went to the brewery last uh, late winter, um, and the beers are pretty good. I got some of their cans. I think I did a review of their Dream Pop, kind of their flagship pale ale. But this is a collaboration with Wandering Soul and Gilded Skull, two of the newer local breweries. It's called um, The Last Golden Harmony. It's their highest rated beer. It just came out though. It's canned uh, like 11 days ago. It uses New Zealand hops. Um, Nelson Rakao, which I don't know how I feel about Rakao, at least in some of the Hill Farmstead beers I've had. And Mutare. I'm not, I'm not super familiar with Mutare. This is 7 point what? 7% alcohol on the top. So we shall see. People have been saying pretty good stuff about it. I do enjoy a Nelson hazy IPA that is very hazy. Hopefully the Rakao doesn't lend that weird diesel-y kind of note that I get from it sometimes. It looks kind of like your old-fashioned double dry hop trillium a little bit. Super hazy, head is not looking too great. Big bubbles, which is gonna disappear very soon. <sighs> very, very, very good aroma though. Nice, nice. <sighs> yep, it carries that New Zealand character for sure. <sighs> A lot of juicy citrus and underripe um, tropical. <sighs> Big on the orange, the grapefruit, <sighs> and yeah, like unripe pineapple. Very, very fruity, just a little bit of a green hint of a diesel-y thing. Not much though in the aroma, nothing scary. A little juicy grape. I'm not getting that green pepper that I often get from, uh, from Nelson, but maybe that'll come in a bit more as it warms. But yeah, you can see the head died down, but it smells really good. Not much yeast, estery stuff happening. Whew. A little bit of a chalkiness in there. You can kind of tell from looking at this beer that it's one of those that's gonna be a little chalky, not have a really nice head, be a, a teeny bit harsh maybe, but it smells amazing. Oh, and the aftertaste is super fruity. It's like, peachy. Maybe that's where the yeast esters are coming in a bit. But it's, yeah, it's a, a sweet fruity aftertaste, even though on the, on the tongue it's not that sweet. Yeah, it's very prickly, textured. We'll see how much throat burn develops as I drink this. But I really like the aroma and the flavors. That's the most important thing with beers. But I mean, if they could make this beer and have it a little, be a little bit more soft, smooth on the palate and better head retention, then this would be, you know, a four and a half plus beer for me. Whatever, yeah, it does remind me of some extravagantly, ridiculously hopped trillion beers, honestly. But it doesn't quite get to the next level where all that stuff is just all chalk and throat burn and minerally, it's not negating the fruitiness. And it's, it's a pretty unique smell. Just a touch of that dank stuff from the Rakao. Not scaring me off like him, Hill Farmstead's a single hop Rakao, that was bizarre. And Susan, um, they've been doing that more. That's their IPA that's like Citra and Rakao and maybe one other one. I mean, Rakao even in that one is almost a bit much. But this is very much Nelson forward, I'd say. Yeah, there's something in the aroma as I drink it now. It's like sulfur peach or apricot now or something. Lots of different fruits happening. And even though it's a bit chalky, Easy enough to go. I'm enjoying it. I'm very impressed by Remnant. See if you can continue doing this and maybe tweak this a little bit. Get it a little bit softer on the palate. But 
That's close to a four and a half beer for me. Really, really enjoy the flavor and aroma. The yeast is not getting in the way. And it's not too harsh. Bye-bye.